Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to Math Mode. Really interesting math problem today, which one is bigger? This on the left we have 777 to the power 888 or 888 to the power 777. So which one is bigger? Would you prefer write your suggestion in the comment and right now we are going to we are going to solve it. Okay, let's start with a really interesting trick right now. 888 and 777, so of course it's 888 and 777, can be divided by 111. So take a look closely. If it takes 11, 111th root from this on the left, so right here, and if you take 11th, uh, 111th root on the right hand side, right here, so 111th root, from the from the right hand side we will have one really interesting moment because right now we can write this 11 111 as a denominator in this element so we will have 700 7077 and to the power 888 over 111 and the same on the on the right hand side 800 88 to the power 777 over 111. And if we look closely to this, it's really easy can be divided. So this one is equal to 8 and this one is equal to 7. So as a result, after this really interesting step, we will have 777 to the power 8 and 888 to the power 7. Yeah, so we have this, this situation. And I hope you understand this step. We just write it in, in another way after this. 111th root. Okay, what are we going to do next? Take a look closely. This element 777 and 888 can be written right here as 111 times 7 to the power 8 and right here 111 times 8 to the power 7. Yeah, so I hope you understand this step. I just write it in, in this way. Okay, what are we going to do next? We, we know the power rule right here, so we need to raise both elements to this power, so right here and right here, we need to raise this. So as a result, what we will have? We will have 111 to the 8 times 7 to the 8 on the left and on the right, 111 to the 7 times 8 to the 7 power. Okay, I hope you understand this step. And right now, right here, we have 111 to the 7th, and right here, right, 111 to the 8th. So right here, we're multiplying 111 7 times. So we can, can cancel with this 111 to the 7 times, but we still have 1 111, yeah? 8 times, so we, we still have 1 times this 111. So as a result, on the left, 111 times 7 to the 8th, and on the right, we will have 8 to the seventh power. So as you can see, a little bit simplifying this this moment. But what about the final answer? Because we still cannot compare these two numbers. Which one is bigger? We, we still cannot say. But let's write this eight as right here. Let's write this eight as two cube to the seventh power. Yeah. So we write this eight as two cube, and as a result, if we raise it, we will have two to the power twenty one. So two to the power twenty one. This is our right hand side. So this is our right hand side, right hand side. What about left hand side? We have 111 times 7 to the 8. 7 is a prime number, it's not good, we cannot express this as 2. But I want to show you one really interesting moment right here. So let's try to compare this number with something that we can compare then with this 2 to the 21. So we have 111 times 7 to the 8. We have this on the left hand side. But this is greater than 2 to the 6 power, which is equal to 64 times 7 to the 8. This is correct inequality because 2 to the 6 equal to 64 and we multiply this number by less than this 111, so this is absolutely correct. But let's go next. Of course, this number is greater than 2 to the 6 times, let's reduce this 7 by 1, so we will have 6 to the 8, yeah? This is absolutely correct because we reduce this 7 by 1. Let's go next. What are we going to do next? Let's write this 6 as 2 times 3. So as a result right here, 2 to the 6, and this 6 can be written as 2 times 3 to the power 8. Let's use the same rule. So we need to raise this and this element. What we will have as a result? We will have 2 to the 6 times 2 to the 8 and times 3 to the 8. So we have this expression. Right now, let's group this 2, 2 with this 2. So as a result, we need to add our powers right here, if, you're, if, if you want to write it in one base. So as a result, 2 to the power 6 plus 8, 14, times 3 
to the eighth power. So we have this, this expression. But this expression is still greater than 2 to 14, and let's reduce this by 1. So as a result, if we reduce by 1, you will have times 2 to the 8th power, which is equal to 2 to the 22 power. And this is really good right now, because, take a look closely, this is our left hand side, 111 times 7 to the 8th power is greater than these 2 to the 22s, and this is still greater than our right hand side, 2 to the 21 power. This is our right hand side, this is our left hand side, and this is one moment that we need to do with these inequalities. And as you can see right here, this right hand side is less than left hand side. So as a result, our left hand side is greater. So 777 seven, seven to the power 888 eight, eight is greater than 888 eight, eight to the power 777. Seven, seven. This is our this is our answer. So our sign is in this way, right here in this way. And this is our, our answer. If you still have any question, write your question in the comments. I try to help everyone. If, and if it's not hard to you, please leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it and it helps me to support my channel. Thank you and have a great day.